Batman is one of the most recognizable and iconic characters in all of fiction. And he's one of my top five favorite superheroes ever. But after eight decades of storytelling, it can get a little challenging to keep things engaging. Every character from Sherlock Holmes to James Bond has gone through this, and Batman has had more success than most characters, but I feel like we've reached a point where there's more story potential for both Batman and the city of Gotham if they were to separate. So let's talk about how Batman should leave Gotham and who should replace him. Batman is bad for Gotham. Let's just get that out the way right off the bat because that's the primary reason why he should leave. You really could be doing more for this city. I mean, the idea that Bruce Wayne doesn't do enough for the city of Gotham is an old and common critique of the character. And the defenders will tell you that he's a philanthropist. He does a lot for the city and they're not wrong. In fact, if you lived in Gotham, you might think that Bruce Wayne was the only person who cared about the people because every foundation or charity or nonprofit seems to have the Wayne name on it. And if Gotham was a real city or if Bruce was doing this in some other city in the DC universe, that would probably be enough. And it's not because neither the philanthropy nor being Batman really fixes Gotham's biggest problems. It's not the supervillains and it's not even the poverty. Gotham's biggest problem is corruption. And of course, we have to keep in mind that we're talking about the world of superheroes here. So every major city has too much going on to justify people actually living there. But even under that context, one of Gotham's unique and defining traits is how rampant and how invasive the corruption is throughout the city. Bribery, drug abuse, extortion, racketeering, sons of bitches. Which is additionally crazy because Bruce Wayne is uniquely equipped to handle it, but he just chooses not to. But as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. Imagine if Bruce Wayne ran for mayor. He's Gotham's favorite son, so he'd win. He's rich, so bribes wouldn't work on him. And he's Batman, so he really wouldn't have to worry about an assassination attempt. So right there off the bat, you have the mayor of a corrupt city who's corruption proof. So now he's in the best possible position to weed out the corruption at every other level in the city then he can inject some of that insane wealth into the city and build better housing, pay people more, redo the roads. And now that the city's looking better, people are living better, there's less incentive for them to join the gangs, there's less incentive for them to take bribes, there's less incentive for the corruption. And then now people don't wanna work as henchmen for the Maronis and the Falcons and all the different penguins and Mr. Freezes, they are running low on henchmen because it's not worth it anymore. So now the crime of the city has less of a grip on the city. And I'm sure that sounds a little boring for a comic book and animation or a movie, but I think it's more interesting to see Bruce Wayne juggle being Batman with being the mayor of a city than seeing him be Batman and occasionally pretending to be a playboy. And honestly, you would still have threats that this wouldn't fix. You would still have to fight off people like Ra's al Ghul and the designer. And then while Bruce is actually trying to save the city as mayor, he would have forces like the Court of Owls fighting against him. So the story possibilities are still endless. But these are superheroes, and most people want to see Batman, not House of Cards in Gotham, even though I would watch that. And that's why I think that Batman should just go ahead and leave Gotham. His talents are being wasted there. But where should he go? Should he just go to another city? Of course not. Batman should run covert operations for the Justice League and primarily be a super spy. The whole appeal of Batman is how great of a detective he is, how he's the king of the shadows, how he can move in and out real stealthily, and he's a freaking ninja. Where are you? Here. So just let him be that, but globally. And I think he should run his own Black Ops team. And we've seen covert Justice League and Justice League adjacent teams here and there. And we've seen Batman work and lead other teams like the Outsiders. But if his solo adventures are primarily these globe-trotting spy mysteries, kind of like how Nightwing had for a while, and then he also runs a team that's like his response to Amanda Waller and all of her different task force, that would be incredibly cool. That would be cool as hell. And imagine no one knows about the team because it's covert, but except for Superman and Wonder Woman. So the three of them, the Trinity, have to meet up in secret and discuss like the morality of, of this team and what they do. And they have to talk about the justification and the necessity for the particular missions he's going on. 
that would allow all the things we like about Batman to be highlighted a lot better than just finding a new way to terrorize Gotham. And what about Gotham? Are we leaving it there to die on the vine or are the sidekicks going to pick up the slack? Well, we already know that whenever Bruce dies or goes missing or is just incapacitated, the children of the bat struggle to feel the hole that he leaves behind. So we would need a hero to come to Gotham that's already established in protecting a city all on their own. And, and the mixing of this new hero with Gotham City has to provide very interesting story potential, which is why my pick is The Flash, specifically Barry Allen. Not only does The Flash keep Central City shiny and safe, but watching Barry Allen go up against Batman's role gallery on a consistent Bases would totally have me locked in. I mean, think about it. Barry isn't technically the world's greatest detective, but he is a very good detective. And he has experience going up against ice villains, big strong villains, and insane villains. And from all the different gangs and the corruption down to the relationship between the superhero and the citizens of the city, while well, that would be a unique challenge for Barry. And just by doing that, not only do we have new incredible story potential for Batman, but we also got some new incredible story potential for Barry Allen. And in a world where there are six or seven different flashes, you need to be able to differentiate and make each flash story unique and compelling all on its own. So putting Barry in Gotham City and making him the hero of Gotham City for a time would be incredible story potential. You could tell all kinds of stories watching Barry go up against the Riddler and the Joker, just as you could have Batman doing world politics, going up against Amanda Waller. Just as you could have Batman going up against Amanda Waller, the, the, the comics, the movies, the animation, all of this could do so much. But that was just my little rant of how I could see things and how I would like to shake things up. How do you feel? Do you feel Batman should leave Gotham and go do something else? Or do you think, nope, Batman stays in Gotham, all heroes stay in their respective cities? Or what do you think about it? And do you think if Batman left Gotham, the Flash could come in and be interesting in that city? Or would you want to see another hero be the hero of Gotham for a time? Let me know down in the comments. The whole point of this is to debate and to discuss. That's the you know, the fun part about being a fan. So thanks for stopping by and spending this time with me and I'll catch you guys next time.